Please, Mama. Mm-hmm. I'm reading from the King James Version. Okay. If I shut up heaven, that there be no rain. Louder, we're, oh. we're recording. We never know what's going to come. We, Daddy always do this to us, so we have to be wise to record now. Okay. If we don't need you, we delete it. We need you, we publish if, it. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Okay. If I shut mm-hmm. up heaven, that there be no rain, or if I command the locust to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, Mm-hmm. Verse 14. If my people. Don't rush. Don't re- rush. Let's look at okay. that. Okay, Mama. He's the one okay. that decided to shut it. The heavens. She said, if I shut it, mm-hmm. even if I've already done it, I shut the heaven. Mm-hmm. No rain. There's evidence. No rain. I want you to see the power he has given to his people, not just now, even in the Old Testament. Mm. Mm. Then now that you have the blood and the name of Jesus, how powerful are we? Mm-hmm. How much change can you effect or wrath? I wanted to charge us, but I want you to go with this charge as you come back to prayer in the morning and tomorrow evening. If I command the locusts to devour the land, the command is out already. Or if I send pestilence among the people, he's the one, him God. Now let's look at verse 14. Despite all of what he has already done, set up, look at what will happen. Verse 14. Go ahead. If my people, mm-hmm. which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land alright this this is too deep but the first thing I want you to see there is if Meaning that every time things are not working, you have a choice. You have a choice to leave things to stay like that or to change it. If you pair this with Ezekiel, you say, I'm searching for a man Mm. to stand in the gap and make up the head so I don't destroy the land. It's the same thing. You see, daddy's mind is mercy. Yeah. Even when he brings judgment, you see scripture, allow scripture to interpret themselves. You see, yeah. I love mercy more than judgment. Mm. Even when he has set judgment in place, if there's one person crying and say, Lord, the book of Job, you see, even if you're dead and one person is crying and say, Lord, please resurrect, he said, if there is one, he can bring you back from the dead. Amen. Mm-hmm. Look at the things he said. If I choose to do, and then my people choose to pray. When my people pray, they call on me. They don't join to talk about the news. You call him about the news. Say, Daddy, your ambassador is here. I request for angels from headquarters. Let something be done. Mm-hmm. Let angels poke the eye of this storm. Yes. Whatever. Yes. Don't watch the news on the green. Watch the news and say what you want to see. Read the news and say what you want to see. You know, your, your mind might say, ah, you by yourself, what can you do? No. No. He said, I'm looking for a man. A man. Tonight here, he said, my people, we are his people. We have chosen to, to be his people. We have given our heart to him. We've given our life to him. It's not, do we, do we not? We know we have. Look at what will happen. Pray. Ask him what to do. And turn. These wicked ways is not shooting people with guns. 
Mm-mm. It is wickedness mm. to have the solution and refuse to give it to somebody. Yeah. Yes. It says that in the scripture, it says it is wickedness if you, you have something and your neighbor comes, you say, come back tomorrow. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, 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 yes. It is wickedness for a child of God to look at situations you can change by speaking and you close your mouth. Mm. Mm. This level of wickedness is pride. Mm. Because you look at you look right, it's pride. You see, you can see pride that makes ignorance and pride. Yeah. Some people will be ignorant, so some people will be pride. Yes. Mm. Some people is ignorance of how much power has been given to us. Some people is pride, I don't care. Let them die. Doesn't matter. Mm. Mm. I'm in Florida. I'm in Maryland. It's not coming yeah. close. I'm in Pennsylvania. It's not coming close. No, you're wicked. You're wicked. Mm. Because you have the power to change it. And that's one of the reasons you want to study this Bible. You want to hang around great fellowship. You want to know that you can truly change things by speaking. Mm-hmm. Yes. In prayer. He said, I will. Not I might. I will. I will hear from heaven. Some people say, oh, the prayer didn't go to heaven. The prayer don't need to go to heaven. You are praying here, he hears from heaven. The prayer don't need to go. He himself is here, he's open to hear. Hmm. We can't break all of it, but what I want you to take from us, to take from here, what he really highlighted in my heart is the willingness to pray. Do you want to? The if is huge. Will you change things in this country? Can you, do you know your prayer can tip the election to the godly direction? Amen. Amen. Your Amen. Do you know they can set up their devices to direct the election, to mark practice, or do whatever they want? But daddy by himself shifting the run because Amen. you pray. Amen. Thank you. Daddy. No, 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 without prayer. With prayer. Yes. Eve. You pray. You can go to Africa and come back with your husband. Mm -hmm. If you pray, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. somebody can walk up to you and give you the keys of a new car. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. Somebody can tell you how to get the new house. Mm -hmm. You pray. Somebody can show you how to go about filling those documents. If you pray, mm-hmm. daddy can yes. show you that one thing you will talk to that child and the enemy in them will be crushed. Hallelujah. Yes. If you pray, yes, if Lord. you pray, yes. daddy will give you the strategy mm-hmm. that will cause you yes. to be promoted at work. Mm-hmm. If you yes. pray, if mm-hmm. you pray, mm-hmm. if you pray, daddy can give you one word that will change your life forever. If you oh, pray, yes. not somebody else, you. Yes. The question tonight is, are you going to pray? Yes. Will yes. you choose yes. prayer? Yes. Or you will choose yes. the struggle? Oh, I choose prayer. Are you going to pray about it? Or you want to do it all by yourself? No. Oh, there is help for those who pray. Amen. Help for Amen. those who pray. I tell you, there is hope for those who pray. There is Amen. miracle. There are miracles for those who pray. How Amen. they happen is not your business. Know Amen. your own and do it. Amen. 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 Let me end with this. Maybe you heard or you haven't. I always listen to my father. If I listen to, if I didn't listen to the Sunday message, I would listen to the Sunday message and covenant our prayer on Monday and I'll take down my instructions I don't take notes anymore I take instructions because notes don't help nobody notes don't do nothing instructions the things you you see and you choose to do those are the things that will change your life Mm. it's very important I did I did listen to I was in covenant I was in um the Sunday message, I was in first service. So I had to listen to, to covenant our prayer on Monday and Tuesday. Today, 
guess what they are emphasizing? It's a week of prayer. Hey! Oh. Anybody here? Wow. wow. That's the focus of this week. I scream one more time. My, if, you know, my. if I am Papa's child, wow. you are yeah. serve another wow. day. Thank you, Daddy. Uh-uh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. It's a week of prayer. Wow. Papa said, nothing uh-huh. happens without prayer. Nothing. And it's true. Mm-hmm. Somebody it's true. needs to be praying. If it's a negative yes. thing, somebody is yes. praying negativity into the atmosphere. Uh-huh. You heard what Mama Scott said. They are so confident. They are taking yes. their negative faith actions. Yes. Mm-hmm. Why are we here praying? Because mm-hmm. that is said is a pray. And we say, okay, we're praying. To be honest, just the fact that we agreed to pray whatever he wanted to do, he's doing it. Even if we miss yeah. the prayer points, it's not about the prayer points. Yeah. Get to a point where it's not about prayer points. It's about daddy. Mm-hmm. Hey, you, you're too truthful to lie. Yes. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> because remember I said it. That's the thing with, with this, this our own job. Just just do what do your part. I told you all, I have no clue what we're praying about. I have no clue. I would have come here and, and make a lie. No, I didn't know anything. All I was instructed is they come here. That's okay. Then we come online and pray. We follow the trail. We follow the Holy Ghost. And that's all we did. And we, we can say victory over it. Victory over it. I'm like, what is coming? <laughs> Inquisitive, my wanted to know. <laughs> oh, yeah. I used to tell Mama Scott, Mama Scott, you would know. Hey! <laughs> this woman, she used to say, Mama, say it, say it. I said, mm-mm. So I don't always say things exactly when I hear them. I say them when I'm instructed to say them. Yeah. On Sunday, I was so inquisitive. I wanted to know. <laughs> Uh, nobody talked to. They just gave my instruction and everybody was quiet. And we pray. And I'm spiritually good to know that if they don't talk, it means it's not my business. Yeah. It's true. If daddy don't talk, it's not your business. He'll tell you your part, which is the business mm-hmm. part, which now we call it. I tell you, exemption is here. He said the thing. Amen. That's why I was Amen. looking out for this week. He said the thing I told you about exemption is this week. Yes. Mm. I remember when you said it. You said it this week. Mm-hmm. Yes. You said it's it. coming mm-hmm. week. Yeah. Hey, mm-hmm. when you said right. you want to talk about the, the thing, my, I was so like, whoa, when is this storm? I didn't ask, but in my mind, then Auntie Papa Scott said, I say, yeah, God, you're too faithful to us. So. Hey, you're too faithful. He never leave us in the dark. I don't. Never. I don't. Yeah. I don't. And that's how it should be, even in your private life. That's mm-hmm. how it should be. I tell you, he's very mm. willing to show you things. You dream that your uncle died. Don't get up and say, hey, what kind of stupid dream? No. That he's telling you, attack the spirit of death. Because the spirit of death is about to come to Uncle Tom. He showed you some things. I mean, if it's you, you laugh. You say, hey, Satan, me, by myself. I can't, do, I can't even go anywhere. That's you, you saw in the coffin. But if it's your family member, don't play with it. No, I'm telling you the truth. That Satan cannot kill you. You develop the heart. Know it. Believe it. Develop that mindset. And don't be moved by it. more pity, pity, craziness. Mm. Amen. Amen. But if you see your family member, it's a revelation. Amen. It's a revelation. Don't don't play with it. I know how many times that has happened to me. Many years and many family members that have been preserved like that. And that it will make sure you hear a testimony that proves that truly you intercepted the spirit of death. Oh, he does it all the time. I used to think he did it. I, I used to think I was the only, he, he, he had that. Have you been there where uh, um, a two year old thing that they are everything maybe to their parent? And then you bring a little baby from the hospital, they begin to pinch the baby because the baby is not thinking all the time. I used to feel like hmm, if God has a secret, he tells only me. Until so I begin to hear people teach the same thing I would teach and give the same example. And by that time, I was in Africa. Papa Dollar was one of them. I used to annoy me sometimes. My God, are you, are you kidding me? 
no, don't judge me. Then I was like, what, seven, eight months? Seven, eight months born again. I started having health fellowship and teaching. <laughs> Whatever I learn, I teach everybody. So daddy had to be careful what I was learning <laughs> because I'll teach everybody. <laughs> so I was like, I was jealous. At one point I said, hey, I thought these things are our private stuff. What am I saying? You can develop your relationship with the Lord that becomes one-on-one private life with him. Amen. That he tells you some secret. To the point we hear from another man, like, Daddy, wait a minute. I thought that this thing was our thing. That's how I choose when I got born again. I made up my mind. Now, anything, one message I heard when I just got born again, that really, really blessed me even to today, is that there are no big fishes on the shore. Huh? That man of God, I don't know what he prayed that day. He prayed smoke before preaching because the message hit my heart and it changed me. If you want to make it in life, refuse to be a mediocre. Anything you're doing, shoot for excellence. Anything you're doing, do the best. Mm-hmm. So there are no fishes on the shore. When you make up your mind to be intimate with this God, one on one, on purpose, what will happen is that what eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, will be what he will be doing with you. Mm. With you. You and him together. You know, sometimes when I look at spiritual parents, I, I used to, because I, you have to think, get your thinking time, get your prayer time, get your word time. This afternoon I was thinking, me and daddy, he said, come, let's reason together. Let me not say the one this afternoon. There was a time I was thinking, I said, daddy, this, I believe the scripture, this is your own word right here. Is it, are you sure? I said, see what Papa Yedupu has done. See what Papa Kenneth has done. This eye not seen. What is it else that we would do? He said, you can't reason like that. You reason like that because you, you, you think that they have done all they can do. What if I showed you that they have only done one, one tenth or one, one hundred of what I wanted them to do? Hey! And that's when he started showing me. He said, the least in our generation should be a billionaire. Mm. He said, if they are millionaires, the least you all can be is billionaire. Because you can only get better. Amen. You know where the problem is? Your mind. You, You read the scripture you want to think. No, meditation is different from rejecting the scriptures. Meditation is my God, daddy, did you really say this? What are you saying? When you start, you look weird. But I tell you, the Holy Spirit will answer you. He will answer you. Ask your questions to him. You might come one day. Alimatu used to do that. Today, Lord, speak to me. I think she has backslidden in answering, asking her question. Alimatu, go back to daddy. Go back to that place. I rebuke you openly. She used to come to prayer and say, Daddy, talk to me today. And me, I'll be sitting here quietly. I, I, maybe I'm not even supposed to say anything. And boom, I begin to speak. Maybe tonight I'm answering somebody's question. That's how he works. You ask him your questions, he answers them the way he chooses to. Chooses to. Mm-hmm. Don't be casual. Go in full length. So that the day you need strength, you wish. Today I had to sign into BBI. I was running a little late. The Holy Spirit say, Emma, good job. I'm like, oh my God. I feel like disappearing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, like, well, my dad is just going to be mad. And then your dad comes out and be like, I'm so proud of you. How are you going to do it? You're going to say thank you, daddy. No, you're going to put your head down like daddy. Didn't you see that I didn't do right? Kind of. That's how I felt. The Holy Spirit said, no, we're so proud of you. Mm. They speak, family. They speak. Refuse religion. Get into yeah. the deep and enjoy it. It's so sweet. It's easier. It's very easy than you think. Don't complicate it. You listen to somebody like Papa Kenny Copla. He said the reason he's who he is is because he didn't know him religion. He just saw the Bible. He believed it. Somebody say, hey, don't just believe the Bible like that. What do they want you to believe? Oh, grammar tales and fables. <laughs> don't hurt you. It's true. Don't hurt you. Please stay diligent. Stay diligent. Stay focused. I tell you the truth. You can change things in prayer. You Mm -hmm. can. You can. Believe me, you can. What about the days I ran out and I didn't pray? 
talk with him anyway. It's not an activity. It's a life that you live. Oh, my, my, my dear, so friendly. The Godhead is the best you can have. Pastor, if they enter close with this, said something that when hit me big time. He asked Daddy. He said, Daddy, why do you always talk to me? Every time you come to me, you don't even say good morning. You don't say anything. You just start telling me about missions and projects and things like that. He said one day he was in the car with his wife driving home. And then by the time they got home, I think after eating dinner or something, the Lord appeared and told him that, um, and started talking to him and telling him things. And he's wondering, wait a minute, God, you are just talking and talking and talking like that. But you, when you go to Pastor Jesse Duplantis, you converse with him. You have discussion with him. Why? And the Lord told him, he said, I am multifaceted. Don't miss this. Don't miss this. I am multifaceted. I will add mine to it. He is the I am that I am. Meaning whatever you want him to be, that's who he will be to you. Mm. He said, every time Jesse comes to me, he comes to play. He comes to have fun. He's looking for me to be happy. He's looking for us to enjoy ourselves. You see, that's what the, he gets. He said, for you, you come to me. Hey, we have to accomplish this project. We need to do this. He said, that's why I tell you about projects. He <laughs> <laughs> said, the people that come to me and say, intimacy, Lord, intimacy, Lord. That's what I give them. I give them intimacy. He said, change is prayer life. Change is wow. prayer life. He said, what do you want from me? I got it all. He's not an abuser to force you and give you what you don't want. What do you want? A relationship? I tell you, he will tell you things. But then, you know, it can be one-sided. You don't tell him things. How will he tell you things? Mm -hmm. How do you tell him things? In prayer. When you're in your kitchen, even though you're not in that your place, where you, that your corner where you pray in your, in your in your bedroom. If only you have one, I hope you do. Please have one. Yes. That place, eh? He, that's not the only time he talks. And that's not the only time you can talk to him. Any time you talk, he will listen. And he will respond. It's true. Do you respond? We're still talking about prayer. What do you want when you go to pray? Are you going to have, Daddy, I'm coming. Daddy, I'm coming. That's what I tell him sometimes. I'm coming. Sometimes before I go to my prayer place, Ooh. it's like there's this thing that soak me in. My God. It's like, where have you been? we we'll miss you. You can literally interpret the atmosphere to me. we we'll miss you. Where have you been? Please. It's easy. It's easier than you take. The truth is you have not yet come to a place where you know that truly he loves you that much. And that he wants to make your life easy. You're still believing lies. The biggest voice in your mind, if we were to do a check tonight, who is the biggest and the strongest voice? Is it the Lord or your husband or your in-law? Your mind, you know, in the life so you are not reason the woman of the world. The, if, the, the results are wonderful. Oh, the results are wonderful. Study your word. Make it your life. Don't make it optional. Why do we hear him? I would say that he speaks scripture. If you don't know the Bible, yes, he can talk to you in dreams. But that's not the best. The enemy, the enemy can... <laughs> Sister Matthew, tonight is your night. 
There was a time when Sister Almatu used to have these dreams and she brought it to prayer. And I told her, I said, don't focus on dreams. Focus on the world. Every night you dream those dreams, tell them we are come to pass. Sister Almatu, do you still dream those funny dreams? Okay. It's true. You have to get to a point where the most the most important voice in your head is not your dream, it's not what somebody said, it's the word of God. Yeah. Mama, we are so proud of you to be <laughs> proud of Mama. <laughs> Alicia, what did your mama do? <laughs> All right, thank you for being proud of your mama. I'm not sure what she did. Let's let's understand that these things are not rocket science. People complicate, and you are one of the people because you're not studying it. If you study it, you uncomplicate your own life. Did you hear what is that? Okay. This night is Sister Matthew's night for real. Did I you hear what he said in the morning? Why. You prayed. <laughs> I danced. I worship. <laughs> Oh, that's I why you're so, you're so she's so yeah she's so connective in the spirit she's so light we're picking her examples tell us the truth she said something mama we're not hearing mama we're not hearing she didn't talk like that three months for me what happened you're you not in and out Oh, maybe it's a little local. I'm sitting right where I'm sitting. So I was saying that, can you hear now? Yes, yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I'll turn my Wi Fi off that way so that it doesn't, we just stay yes. on the data. Mm-hmm. That's one solution. Yes. So when, when, when she, she, I don't know if you heard her in the morning, I was so grateful to daddy. Those are the things that move me. She would not have talked like that three, four months ago. No. Is it not true, Sister Alimatu? The way she spoke this morning. She said, no. Even the prayer on Sunday made her bolder. She said, no. It's about victory. No calamity. And she even went further to say it will not come to her family members. Are you kidding me? There's something she knows. Yeah. You don't talk like that if you don't know something. Even if it's even if you're shaking in your heart and you're saying that there's still something you know. It's true. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right Invest in your own life. That's all I'm saying with all of this long word. Pray. Talk to daddy. Talk to him. You want people to be your friend. Don't you talk to them? Yeah. Don't say I'm a friend of God. Do you talk with him? Did you go to him and say, Daddy? Did you see what my husband just did? Huh. I'm angry, but I have to behave right. What do we say? Say, I leave the man alone. You know he likes you. There's a king and a fool in every man. Just let's take that part to be the foolish part. Let's celebrate the king and leave the fool alone. Then he would talk. I'm not saying you say that, way, but he would tell you something. He might show you his day that went wrong at work. I say, if it was you, he said, you know you know the word. He doesn't. So leave him alone. Love him. Go make his dinner. And you're like, what? <laughs> dinner? Didn't you hear what he said? <laughs> that he go make his dinner. By the time you go make that dinner, the man is eating the dinner and say, um, um, um. Now he's seeing that truly you are not normal. You are a Christian for real. And that's better than five preachings and quoting of scriptures. I want us to tell daddy how grateful we are in this family one more time. Let's tell him we're grateful he called us into these days and hours of prayer. Tell him you're grateful that you can talk with him about everything. You can tell him anything. And he can tell you anything as well. What a relationship. <laughs> the songwriter was wise when he said, What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What needless pain we carry. Because, because what? Who knows that part? 
What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Mm-hmm. No, the father said, what a needless pain we bear. Mm-hmm. All because we do not carry everything. Exactly. You answer it the other way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because we do not carry everything. To, he didn't say carry some things. Everything no, to him everything. in prayer. Everything to Everything. Banking things to prayer. Children issue prayer. I like what Mama Scott wrote. You see, talk with daddy about everything. It's true. This thing, if you practice this thing that you wrote here, if we practice this thing Mama Scott wrote here, hey, they'll say, where did this breed come from? Some people will say, ah, I know them. They are fanatic. I joined them once. I cannot cook. <laughs> that woman, she said he was a boot camp. Now we see they are truly soldiers. It will be too late. God, we will do purpose quietly. My God. Build cities. Amen. If you're planning for rapture, it's not coming next month. So forget. Dream <laughs> and dream big. <laughs> That's what please daddy, not these cheeky demons dramatic things and you get That's why I respect Pastor Chris even more. Mm. This bowl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because he knew what he heard. Amen. Hearing will save you. My God. Mm-hmm. Hey, so just one word from daddy will save your life. I tell you the truth. Okay. Ah, let's um Pray and disperse. Daddy, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.